Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, um, June 11th, 2024. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin to Tether at Zonda Crypto Exchange. As you can see, as usual, I'm using the daily time frame chart with the Japanese uh, candlesticks. Big down day is ahead of us because it looks like the market is unable to break above the level of 71,000. Uh, 820 where the last um, let's say local high was uh, was made so let me just mark this line for sure and we'll mark it as the uh, technical uh, resistance so this is the first red line we need to pay attention to especially if we, if we are bulls the other levels is 72,480 so that's another uh, technical resistance and of course all-time high 73,500 50 so we have a pretty solid uh, supply zone on this uh, market and uh, please remember that we've done the high uh, in the middle of the March 2024 so there's only f two days more for this consolidation to be free uh, one to three months old yes one one three months one quarter old and that's a quite uh, substantial so it takes too much time for the bulls to make another swing high new all-time high which might uh, be quite interesting in terms of the further movement uh, of this market okay last thing i would like to do is to just mark the uh, mark this uh, supply zone for those of you who are not familiar with this uh, situation here there you go this is one big uh, one big uh, supply zone we need to break above the zone in order to continue higher now we got the down day here we are facing um, the test uh, of the level of uh, let me just mark it up for you uh, I guess the best two levels will be something like uh, 67,000 which is the technical support it's a normal technical support so it doesn't have to be that thick so that's the technical support and this uh, this the recent movement lows will be of course uh, counted for this uh, movement to the downside as well so roughly around 60 6500 and we got this very very narrow zone uh, the local demand zone uh, for the uh, for the bulls in if we get the indicator like rsi uh, on our chart we can see clearly that the market breaks below the level of 50 if you don't know where the level of 50 is let me just uh, market for you right now so we just broke yeah below the level of 50 and now the mm, current level is 45 so this sharp turn to the downside means that bears are in charge of the market the sentiment is rather bearish uh, and we entered the bearish territory and there is still room to the downside here before we will hit eventually before we will hit the extremely oversold market conditions and there is a room to the downside here as uh, well, the next target for bears is located here at if if, if we break lower, of course, sixty-five thousand four hundred and ninety-nine, and the key level here is as usual fifty-six thousand seven hundred and forty, and this is the major technical support that changes the outlook uh, for the uh, for the Bitcoin if uh, broken, right? So that's the situation here on the. Um, on the Bitcoin daily time frame chart, if we get one more indicator like um, uh, moving average cross, so 9 and 26 are already above the current price. But if we get of the 200 and 100 periods moving average, uh, we can see that the market is still trading above them. However, it's getting closer to the 100 periods moving average again after this period of the uh, consolidation. So the general outlook is um, uh, like this big consolidation big important technical support big important all-time high technical resistance uh, the bulls are unable to move up in impulsive fashion because all they can do is like a kind of a kind of a let's say a five wave if we get this last situation here as a wave fifth uh, so okay so that might be counted as an impulsive uh, wave let me just uh, get it on for you 
uh, I will label it for you so let's say it's, it's a 1 it's a 2 it's a 3 and this is fine that's some sort of the let's say uh, wave 4 and then wave 5 which is the so shortest one okay that's fine so maybe just maybe what is going on here what's the next cycle is a corrective cycle obviously in form of the wave a b and possibly c the question is uh, where we will go with the wave b to the upside as a counter trend corrective cycle and the wave c and then if 56,740 is not violated then this market is still ready for another bull uh, run so the other uh, best scenario for the situation here is unfortunately a little bit uh, different because it uh, it looks like this so we got the uh, wave a here to the upside of course it's in three waves yeah basically it's in the three waves the the, the clearest and the simplest one so the abc to the upside has been completed and it, this abc is a part of this big cycle here now we are doing another abc uh, cycle and the market keeps developing big and time consuming corrective cycle um, between 70 uh, 2899 and between 56,000 and 740 so it might take some time to complete this cycle um, for good and then maybe the market might be ready to continue the long-term uptrend that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye